It's a place where presidents and writers have come to play hooky from reality for years, and it really does have that tropical feel. Ernest Hemingway, the novelist famous for his short sentences and big drinking binges, was an early fan, and now everyone's getting in on the act. The Keys consist of 31 limestone islands, and there's only one way of getting up and down them, on Highway 1. It's 126 miles long, and it's a bit of a mind-blower. Three million tourists a year make the trip, the vast majority of them sun-starved Americans from the North and Midwest escaping the cold grey winter. The peak season is December through March, with temperatures in the 70s and 80s. By car, the Keys begin and end with Key Largo. Key Largo, though, is what it's not. So it's not really the location for the famous film of the same name. Apart from a couple of shots, it was totally filmed in the back lot in LA. Rumour has it that the actors came, got bitten by mozzies and left. Got an even more tenuous link with Hollywood in the shape of the African Queen, the boat of the movie of the same name. And yes, this is the real boat used in the real movie, but the movie was shot entirely in Africa and England. The boat is moored in the marina of the Holiday Inn, and in retirement it's been reduced to a novelty ferry for tourists. Not quite the same as braving the Zambezi. If Key Largo is beginning to sound about as snorkeling is the less daunting alternative to diving, and apparently it takes about 15 minutes of instruction. But like diving, it takes 40 minutes on a boat to actually get to where the fish are. I have to confess, I'm a snorkeling virgin, actually. I'm a bit nervous. Apparently the big tip is, whatever you do, don't do backstroke. Avoid here though, and at Budden Mary's Fishing Marina in Isla Mirada, you don't get to pet the wildlife, you get to kill it. Personally, I've always found fishing a rather strange pursuit for grown ups, sitting around for hours on end holding a stick. Well, let me tell you, deep sea fishing is nothing like that whatsoever. This is fishing at its most macho, its most sexy, and uh, it really is handy if you've got to find a pair of biceps, actually. I mean, even the fish have scary names like barracuda and bonefish. And I've never actually seen a marlin, but apparently they can weigh as much as Bernard Manning after a night on the pork scratchings. is all about conservation, then fishing off Isla Mirada is all about consumption. Good news for a conscientious fish-eating vegetarian like myself. Whatever I catch, I'm going to eat. Well, nearly everything. We've got a lot of conservation down here. Well, this really is an incredible experience, certainly my first time, to be able to eat something that a couple of hours ago was thrashing around in the sea, and I was actually responsible for catching it. Because, I mean, normally you just get your food and it's shrink-wrapped from your local supermarket. 